let's just get into it. Being black does not make you a Hebrew Israelite. All right? Now, to get deeper, there are no such thing as living Hebrew Israelites today. There are no such thing as living Hebrew Israelites today. Take the Shabbat and, uh, you know, and call Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach. You can dress up like Power Rangers and, and uh, you know, Mortal Kombat characters and go outside and, and tell white people that they all going to, going to hell and that they are from the lineage of Edom and all of this stuff here. Right? Being a Hebrew Israelite, and if you're following that, you're following false doctrine. But they want to believe that they are also being righteous. So it's, it's like self-righteousness by their works and by the festivals and all of that stuff that they keep that they are saved. Being a Hebrew Israelite, <laughs> there is no such thing as a Hebrew Israelite today. Okay, that lineage died a long time ago with the people of Israel who were mixing and mingling with all of the other cultures. You cannot find one true person from the tribe of Judah because they do not exist. That lineage has been broken millennia ago. And it can't be talking about America because number one, Egypt is his own country, okay? The Bible is not using some hidden text saying that, you know, America is Egypt and that um, the, the Israelites were brought to Egypt uh, to, be, to, to be suppressed or to be oppressed. Being a Hebrew Israelite, <laughs> there is no such thing as a Hebrew Israelite today. Being a Hebrew Israelite, <laughs> there is no such thing as a Hebrew Israelite today. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Racha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and his aquamium, the elders, a great millstone. Also, a shalom to the elect that's sojourning in this hell, this temporary hell condition until the Lord delivers us. The elect. Okay, I want to touch on a video. Uh, this is probably the most disturbing video that ever came against the Hebrew Israelites because uh, anyone who ever really scoffed against us has still in some way, shape, or form felt that the Israelites were still here, whether they felt that they anybody could be a grafted Israelite um, or whether they felt, hell, they even said, I've, I've even heard to say the Ed Edomites are done away with. Now the Israelites are done away with? That is the craziest thing that I think I've heard. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's many scriptures to go in. And this is what the Bible was all about. The Bible, the biblical records was for the Israelites. It is for the Israelites. Okay? Simple. When you go to the scripture, all this speakers, the Hebrew Israelites. Hell, you got a book of Hebrews. You know? In a book of Hebrews in the Bible. You can't be serious. This is another nutcase who tried to find a, another way to dismantle the truth, but it's not working. I don't even think an agent sent this guy. This guy, you know, just can't be that stupid, but then again, he is. Okay, uh, anyway, he goes on to say um, that there is no such thing. Uh, is a uh, is Israelites, um, you know? Let's get a scripture. I, I'm gonna go go to some comments because what can you say about that? You know, Isaiah 14 and one, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Okay, so we know that Israel is a people before a place. Okay, uh, when you read the scriptures, the Lord said He will scatter thee amongst all nations. Okay, and he also goes on to say Deuteronomy 28 was just talking about a basic Egypt. This is what you get when you got a guy who has only one level of education. Let me say that, just using loose. One level of education in the truth. He's stuck on what he was taught. 
and you can get mad at them, but then you can't, you know? It's like a thing. Somebody teaches you 2 plus 2 equals 5. Then you find out the truth that is 4. 20 years later, you want to stick to 5. In your mind, 2 plus 2 equals 5. I don't care what anybody says. And that's what you see with these Christians, these so-called uh, black Christians that uh, have uh, understand the knowledge of what they were taught. They will never leave what they were taught. So when all other angles and doors are shut down, they got to come with a new angle. And now the new angle is the Israelites was done away a thousand, thousands of years ago. The Hebrew Israelites. And this is a thing where we see people that don't give the Lord all the credit serves. You know, this is what we see. The Lord has done away with his chosen people thousands of years ago. Unbelievable. Let's get another scripture. Ecclesiastes 4.16. There is no end of all people. Proving that the Edomites are here. Okay. The, Israel, the, the Israelites are here. All the nation of Israel is here. Then you got to show me one, you know, one scripture in the Bible that said all the Hebrew Israelites were done away with. The scripture says they will be destroyed for a lack of knowledge and they will be destroyed because of through slavery. But when you keep going through the scriptures, even the Apostle Paul said, has God cast away his people? God forbid. Okay? Well, you know what? Let's get that real quick. This is Romans 11 and 1. It says, I say then, have God, Yahweh, cast away his people? God forbid. Okay? Because this is an ongoing type of doctrine where everybody thinks the Lord has just done away with his people. Goes on to say, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So when you get people that say that we should all get along, even in the camps we should get along, it's not the case. This is what the Lord wants. You know, the Lord is about controversy. The Lord is a man of war. You know, it's all about controversy. The Lord is not a boring uh, uh, being, okay? He's not boring. He loves the excitement, <laughs> you know? It's all through the scriptures. There's going to be a, a World War Three coming, and that's going to be the big banger, the big show. So for any of you that are losing patience while the Lord ain't returned, the Lord is gearing up the big show, you know? The big show, the real deal. Okay, so let's go to the comment comment board. I, I have to see this. Uh, these are fellow Israelites that's leaving comments. Uh, the first thing I found disturbing as well is even other Israelites who's leaving this guy comment, they're calling him brother. We are the people. And a lot of y'all don't want to be peop uh, be the people. You know, I'm not going to keep reading. But um, that's disturbing to call this man his brother. There's no way this brother, you know. Uh, there's no way, you know, that this guy is is a brother. Uh, somebody said, would you take a DNA test and shut up? Quit raping the Bible, okay? There's no way that this, that this guy is a uh, brother. Somebody else wrote Romans 3 and 3. For what if some don't believe, shall their unbelief be made faith, you know, uh, of Yahweh without effect? So who cares if you don't believe heathen? Uh, okay. Yep. Well, that's going to someone else. They, he's looking at this other guy, Jesse Walsh, and calling him heathen. And he doesn't even know if this guy's a heathen. Well, technically he is. But he's looking at the white skin and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, he's a heathen. That could still be an Israelite. That could be a Latino, a Native American. But this thing, this guy, Young God 7-7, seven, seven, should have called this guy up the top that was speaking a goddamn heathen. Okay? Because he could very well be a tear. You know, you just don't know. This is why that black and white thing, the Lord scattered us, okay, amongst the heathen. Now, when this guy also went into the uh, Egypt, he said, back into Egypt again, which we went over this over and over. Egypt is a condition. It's not necessarily a place. You got Babylon and you got Babylon the Great, which is America. 
Bible doesn't say America, but see in this guy's eyes, all he believes is what is written. And this is what the guy said. It doesn't say anything like that in the Bible. Okay, but then now you got to break down who's mystery Babylon the Great in Revelation 17. Now you got to break that down. Uh, okay, and it, you know, guys just don't know. They just don't know. The evidence is building. We are the, indeed the Israelites. Most, because the scripture says that in the last days, his people will awake. If these are not the last days, then I don't know what it is. Okay? Um, which has been the last days, but, I mean, coming close to the end. Okay? Um, we're going to see the fate of the foolish man. You are lost, my brother Hebrew. My brother Hebrew is a nationality which does not change. He said, you are lost, my, my brother. This is not a goddamn brother. This is not a God-condemned brother. Okay? He's a heathen. He's not likely to wake up to the fact of who he is. He's not likely to wake up to the fact uh, that he's an Israelite. Now, the Lord could, then he wouldn't be a, a, a heathen. If he ain't a heathen in general. Brother, that was the weakest, most false thing I ever heard. Come on, man. This is disturbing to call people like this your brother. This man is not your brother. He's, he's siding with Esau to dismantle your heritage. 17 and 4 says that I will discontinue from thy heritage. Now, even when you go to the timeline of the prof, ancient prophets, uh, uh, with those prophecies that were saw were saw from the, for the future up to the day. Prophet Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel, these prophets saw future prophecies 2,000 years ahead. And 2,000 years ahead tells you the scriptures of the prophecy. Let's get one. Let's see what John the Revelator saw that was stranded on the island of Patmos. Okay? Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So where is this guy getting this madness from? I don't know. Okay. This is the, probably the worst. This is probably the worst uh, documented speech against the Israelite that I've ever seen. Okay. This is the worst speech that I, uh, um, whatever he calls it, you know, that he, that I've ever seen. Of, it, of him uh, coming against the Hebrew Israelites, okay? Really against the truth, okay? Uh, Hebrews, and I'll just make it quick, Hebrews 8 and 8. And you can go on several scriptures. He won't have a leg to stand on because he never read one scripture. I think First or Second Thessalonians, the fifth chapter says, prove all things. He hasn't read one scripture to prove, prove uh, his case. Okay, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day have come. Okay, when he said the day have come, that means it hadn't happened yet. Saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This is why the New Testament is relevant. It says it in Jeremiah 31, but the New Testament is relevant because it does sum up a lot of things that's going to happen like the mark of the beast. If you're an Old Testament Israelite, you're never going to get it. Okay? You're just not going to get the, the rest of the true prophecies. Because the, the Old Testament don't, doesn't make it as clear as the New Testament in Revelation about that microchip. This proves the New Testament is correct. Okay? Um, I guess I have nothing else to go on on that. There's no way... Uh, that this guy, that anybody really should pay this guy any attention. Uh, maybe he's a guy that misses daddy or his mommy, and he just, he's into the church, and he's got Stockholm, stock church syndrome. I don't know what you call it. Um, that's all I have on that. Shalom.